Clive, where people will be playing today Halo 2 and soon Halo 3 in a really exciting environment. And Xbox Live has made tremendous progress over the last 12 months. We're now the largest social network on the TV. The network of people playing Xbox Live has now reached 5 million members with an amazing gaming experience, but also the ability to communicate with each other and build their own social network. That is an exciting level of activity, unprecedented and unanticipated even two or three years ago. Now the key thing we're focused on with Xbox Live is continuing to expand that community. And what we want, we want to do is take it to a whole new level. And so we said, gosh, we have the largest gaming platform in the world on Windows and Windows Vista. Let's take the live experience and bring it to, wi to Windows. And so what I want to do now is demonstrate that live experience on, on Windows. And for that, I have Lisa Sakura on stage, and she's going to take us through a demo of Live on Windows. Lisa? Yeah, thanks, Robbie. So here I've got my laptop, and it's running Windows Vista. Now, I do everything with this laptop. It's my work. It's everything. Sure. Now, I do like to take breaks the, uh, the odd time and actually play games. Now at home, we also have our Xbox 360. And in fact, my husband loves to get online and play on Xbox Live with his friends. And now I can join him in those games right here on Windows Vista. Sure. So let's show you how this works. So I'm gonna start up a game of Uno here. And Uno is one of my favorite games, actually. And in fact, um, it's one of the top downloaded games on Xbox Live today. That's right. So it's a very social game. So I'm going to go into, jump into a multiplayer game here, and I am going to see if there's somebody out there who wants to play with me. And, and now you're doing this using the Xbox 360 Xbox controller 360 running controller. on Windows Vista. you got to love it. Now, everything that you see here is very similar to what you see on Xbox Live, but it's all been customized for Windows Vista. And you know what? For me, it's drop-dead simple. I love this. Now here I am, I'm in my game lobby, and I'm Hurricane. That's my gamer ID, that's sure. how people identify me in, the, in my Windows, or my, sorry, my live community. Now let's check out this. So here's the live guide. Now it looks exactly like you would see on Xbox 360 in all the same community features. Sure. Is that cool? Now I'm going to go into my friends list, and here we go. I've got not a lot of friends. Yeah, but we you need know, to get you some more friends. I, I know, I'm working we got, we got on it. I'm work working on, on it. So here we've got Ice Monkey. Now, Ice Monkey happens to be Albert over here on the couch, and he's playing GeoWars on his Xbox 360. Now, the fact that I can see where my friends are and what they're doing right here on Windows Vista, now that's pretty cool for me. So let's go and see if Albert wants to jump into a game of Uno with me. So I'm going to invite him to a game, and boom, invite's been sent over to Albert. Thanks, Lisa. I'm going to go ahead and accept Lisa's gamer invite. And just like I'd expect on, an, on the live service on Xbox 360, I can quickly exit the game that I'm playing and join hers. Uno is a great game, but it's just one example. With titles like Shadowrun and Halo 2, this is going to open up a whole new world of friends for me, whether they're playing on Windows Vista or playing on Xbox 360. Guys, thanks much. That's great for showing that to us. Now, you say that's Uno, and it's a simple concept, but it applies to both casual games and more serious traditional hardcore games. And that's the concept of reaching out to those 200 million gamers and providing them with an amazing live experience. This will build a worldwide service that spans platforms and create great community. This will roll out on the live service this summer. Now, today on Xbox Live, we've seen about three billion hours of gaming. Um, so Microsoft isn't just a productivity company, I want to be clear about that. Three billion hours of gaming. And I'm very excited to see that, where that will go as soon as we bring uh, Live on Windows into play. So now we've talked about music, we've talked about mobility, we've talked about uh, what we're doing in gaming. I want to switch tacks and talk about TV and movies. And really in this space, the big news obviously is high definition and how fast that is taking on. If you went into a retail store this holiday season, high definition TVs were the thing to buy. It was an amazing year for HDTV and for that process and that platform to get going. And I wanna talk about four ways for you to get high definition movies today on the Microsoft ecosystem. Now the first of those is through our HD DVD player. This comes with X, that you can buy for Xbox 360. Now I wanna point out We've been making as many of these as we possibly can, and they continue to sell out. Demand for this product is incredibly high. Perhaps the bigger news than that, though, is that the HD DVD format has been the top selling format this year. And that's a combination of the fact that it's had the most movies, it's been the most affordable, 
and it's had the most interactive uh, and compelling interactive features with our, with our technology that we put into that product. So this really creates a great environment for people who want to use the disk space environment to access and interact with high definition movies. Now let's go to the second way in which you can get that high definition experience. And that of course is on Media Center. And Bill talked about, and there was a demo of Media Center before, the data behind that demo is pretty impressive. This holiday, 80% of PCs sold in the United States were Windows XP Media Center PCs. We have now passed 30 million copies of Media Center sold worldwide. So this is now a market that is absolutely at scale. You are seeing tremendous momentum in this space. And when you network that PC with your Xbox 360 for high definition TV, you can get all the experiences you want. Music, movies, cable TV, high definition content from Media Center streamed to Xbox. We call it Media Center Extender on Xbox 360, and it's a very popular product. We're continuing to see that. It comes with Xbox built in, and we continue to see that expand and roll out. You don't need an extra box. It's just connect it up and go. So that's the second way you can get high definition content into the Microsoft ecosystem. Now the third way is with Xbox Live Video. And this is really a very exciting thing we introduced in November with a number of content providers, over a thousand hours of content. And it's really simple because your Xbox is always on, already on the internet and it's connected to a big TV. And with that thousand hours, we're adding today Lionsgate to the mix to create even more content and provide even more content to Xbox 360. So what I wanna do now is I wanna turn it over to Lisa and she's gonna give you a quick demo of how simple it is to get a movie up and running. Lisa? Thanks, Robbie. You know, I love to watch movies and Video Marketplace has become the easiest place for me to download great high definition movies and TV content. So let's have a look at this. So here I'm gonna go into my TV shows and I'm gonna check out some networks here. Now we've partnered with some of Hollywood's finest and I can download TV content from all of these great networks. A ton of them in here, check them out. And now, in terms of movies, wow, we've got a huge movie lineup. So if you can see here, I've actually already downloaded Warner Brothers Superman Returns, and it's on high def, and it's ready for me to play whenever I want to. So that just gives you a sense for how video is easy to get to Xbox 360, and we have had tremendous response to that from our live customers. Now, the final area where we can bring high definition to our platform is what we call IPTV. Now, two years ago, we demoed IPTV at this show and really gave one of the early first looks at what IPTV could deliver. Today, we are now in market with five providers, AT&T, British Telecom, Deutsche Telecom, Tcom in France, and Swisscom. We are doing great work with those companies to roll this out to consumers. And we're also working with 11 other customers and a number of others who are in trial or evaluation. This market is going to continue to grow and over the next three or four years is gonna become a major part of the TV delivery ecosystem. So I want Albert, again, to take us on a quick tour of IPTV as it ships today. Albert? Thanks, Robbie. The IPTV demo that you see here is going to unlock the potential of your TV. IPTV, the first thing you'll notice about it is that it's fast. I hate waiting. And with our instant channel zapping, no more waiting a couple of seconds for the channel to change. I get instant gratification. Another great feature is our improved channel browsing. With our picture in picture feature, I can actually see what's on the next channel before I change over. This is gonna be the next generation of channel surfing. Now, IPTV delivers everything you'd expect from a great TV experience. I can watch and record my favorite TV shows in standard and high definition. I can order videos and movies on demand, or I can quickly search for my favorite programs by actor, title, or director. Now, I know that some of you may have seen IPTV in the past, but what I can guarantee that none of you have seen is IPTV running on an Xbox 360. I'm gonna bring up the Xbox guide. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up the Xbox guide and I'm gonna go ahead and accept this game invite for Gears of War. The bringing together of IPTV and Xbox 360 is gonna give me all of the amazing